Day of the Year. Uh, what do you think about the International Women's Day festival? Um, in Vietnam, it's an interesting day because I was not so familiar with it before. But it's it's always nice to have a day where you can recognize somebody. But having a man's day, I think, would be nice too. So, can you tell me more about the International Women's Day in the U.S.? Yeah, um, you know, I actually had no idea about Women's Day ever until I moved to Vietnam. I had no idea that was even a thing. Because International Women's Day is a recognized day in the United States, but I didn't know about it until I moved here. Um, yeah, so this is not a really common day by any means, because oftentimes, so like Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, usually it's probably the man doing a bit more for the woman. We might have some exceptions, but usually it's the man doing something for the woman, so I could say that's a woman's day in the United States. Why don't you have the Women's Day? That's a good question. I'm not really sure how to answer it, but if I were to guess, uh, since it's an international holiday, it might have started in a different country where it's expanded throughout the world. And maybe it is recognized as a holiday, but it's not a really common holiday. Like, for example, think maybe Christmas. You know, Vietnam is starting to celebrate Christmas or Halloween, and these are Western holidays. They're not necessarily an international holiday, because not everyone celebrates it, but it's, it's slowly growing and people are learning about it. But it's not really a holiday holiday in Vietnam, but if you want to do it, you can. If you don't want to, it's no problem. Um, I see. Yeah. But what do you think about the Vietnamese woman? <laughs> Vietnamese woman? You know, one thing for me, because I, again, maybe not everyone, but Vietnamese women oftentimes, I think they want to be treated like the girl, yeah. and they want to treat the man like a man. And for me, it's um, I have a woman who wants me to be the man, and then she wants to be the girl in the relationship, which is um, it's it's a nice feeling. Some American women, you, you'll still have that, no problem. Everyone's a little bit different, but with Vietnamese culture, oftentimes women want to be the women, and men want to be the men. And the U.S. sometimes men want to do women things and women want to do men things, so it changes a little bit. Uh, but here, I, I like that a lot. It's a, it gives me a good feeling inside. It makes me want to be a better man than some ways. But uh, Vietnamese women, yeah, culture-wise, um, a lot of it because they're very family-oriented. So having a woman who really cares for the family and especially say like children and wanting to have a healthy family, which is always a really fantastic thing. Yeah, Vietnamese women very yeah. No, I, I like Vietnamese women because Vietnamese women are like quite small compared to say Western women. They're oftentimes a bit thinner as well. Uh, but I like all women, so I'm, I'm not too picky when it comes to some things. But I'm also a man who does a lot of cooking myself and cleaning. And for Vietnamese women, I know a lot of Vietnamese women cook and clean, which I really like a lot. I like that so much. Thanks for sharing. I learned a lot from that. Yeah, and for you guys, I hope you enjoyed these interviews. Maybe you have a new conversation to talk about with your date on International Women's Day. And as always, you guys, March 8th is coming up, so... Happy Women's Day! Bye-bye, guys. Take care.